Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from thetarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading now and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. And if you want a personal reading, you can get it at thetarotempress.com. So we're going to be looking at your love life. Okay, so the first energy that I'm picking up is this element of pain, okay? I feel like someone could be hurting through the course of this situation. This might be difficult times for you and the individual that you're dealing with concerned. And I feel like this particular energy is an indication that, uh, you know, you might be feeling stressed out or potentially there are things that are going on in your love life that are hurting you on a very, very deep level, okay? And I'm also sensing from this card that there are other elements and things that um, are happening behind the scenes, right? Clearly, there are other elements that will be playing a role in the situation, right? Now, let's see. The next energy I'm looking at is showing to me that there has been some sort of ending that has occurred between you and this person concerned. And you could be feeling a lot of sadness, a lot of emptiness as a result of that. And you might not know how to deal with these particular energies. So it's quite clear that uh, for this card to come out, this has affected you very, very deeply, okay? And we can see that it's having an effect of you not being able to deal with the situation. And I feel like you're trying to look within your heart, within your soul for that inner strength, for that sort of uh, guidance, that sort of um, element to get you through this very trying times, especially since... You feel as if, you know, you really put in your heart and soul. You're also feeling that, you know, you gave this individual a lot of who you are. Perhaps, you know, you were caring for them financially or emotionally or you were just being very good to them because Leo's by nature are very generous individuals, right? So I can completely see you in a position in which you're doing your very best to show this individual your dedication, your devotion, your kindness and at times you might have felt as if, you know, um, questioning whether this individual is taking advantage of your good nature or if they're truly appreciating what you bring in terms of the relationship, right? The next energy that I'm looking at is showing to me that... Um, you know, you were very dedicated towards making this a success. You were very dedicated towards putting in that energy, that time, that uh, dedication towards seeing this through and ensuring that it turns out to be an absolute success in the situation, right? Now, the other element coming to play is the fact that where there was an opportunity to communicate certain things. I feel like you wanted to voice certain things or perhaps illustrate your dedication towards 
this relationship and making things work. I feel like you went into a potential conversation with this individual very um, naively, right? And it's with that element of uh, naivety that you went into a situation, but I feel like either you didn't have the guts to say what you needed to say to this individual or this individual kept quiet and didn't respond to your messages. Very heavy energies here. I feel like you went forward with a lot of energy to say something or you were thinking of saying something or you're thinking of saying something right now in this moment. And then there's that... Uh, there's that energy of either this individual not responding or perhaps you being quiet or backing off from it. There's something along that uh, lines that's happening here. Okay, I'm picking up. A frustration about the situation because you feel as if you gave it your all you feel like you were completely dedicated to this individual and you feel frustrated now right for some of you you might feel as if your intuition led you astray or that you know your gut your instinct it didn't uh, lead you in the right path you might feel as if you betrayed your own self in this situation just because you had so much to say to them uh, and perhaps you did and they didn't respond or perhaps uh, you didn't get an opportunity to say what you needed to say to this individual because they didn't give you one. So there's a whole range of uh, things that are happening under these circumstances, right? But I do pick up from the cards that you feel disappointed that, uh, you know, what you had to offer to this individual didn't quite go in the direction that you were wanting. And I feel like there's this element of opti optimism that you have inside of your heart that you will uh, eventually get what you want out of the situation. But I feel like you are afraid of jumping back into it and perhaps trying again. There's a fear there of not knowing whether or not the risk will, uh, you know, provide the results you want or will things just sort of slow down and, uh, you know, this individual, they might uh, not respond in the way that you want them to so i'm getting a very wide and big picture from these cards i'm definitely getting the impression that uh, there's a lot going on here for you and this individual concern nothing is as clear-cut as it seems right let's look at this first card There's a lot of love here, right? That's why it hurts so much. Yes, I see that uh, from these two cards, right? There's this loving connection. And then someone left, someone backed away from it, right? What I'm seeing from the cards is that uh, at this point in time, you don't know where you stand with this individual. And I'm picking up from the cards that, um, you know, you were hoping to celebrate. You were hoping for this individual to step up to the plate. But as time goes past, you know, you realize that everything has come to a standstill. And, you know, you're wondering if this individual has walked away, has left. And what does it mean in respect of the situation? Because you can't understand why they would act this way, why they would behave in this manner, right? Because I feel like you were doing a lot for this individual. I really feel like you were giving your heart and soul. You were doing your very best to make things work. And then it feels as if, you know, this individual didn't quite register it or didn't quite understand what your objectives were and what you were trying to achieve in this respective situation. So it seems as if, you know, the cards are indicating that you are at a crossroads right now and you don't know whether 
to continue in this relationship or not. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these cards on an extended reading. You can find the links in the description box below. I'm going to be looking at the energy of the individual you're dealing with particularly and seeing what's going on with this person, okay? If you want a personal reading, you can get it at thetaraempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.